il doit y avoir un, un petit problème il y a un problème sur sa grosse caisse je crois qu'il y avait sa pédale qui foutait le camp elle est cassée carrément bon me dit-on ça c'est beaucoup plus grave ah ben voilà les catcheurs enfin Alice et Dell en profitent pour euh, refaire un titre en acoustique Cradle summers falling in the arms that you once bore them, and the sea comes crawling to lick their wounds. And summer is nearly over. We are not yet safe. Summer is nearly over. We are not yet safe. Come down with me now to where the summer mist in its rage. Come down, I want you to fathom deeper me. Catcher started as a, a kind of uh, like a band at school uh, in Northern Ireland. And I, I guess I'd started playing guitar and, and just writing songs straight away, so I, I started looking for other people to work with. and. I knew Alice's brother, um, so we got together and, and I think the, the amazing thing about meeting Alice was that I had all these songs and I was really into writing the lyrics, but um, whenever we sang together, uh, we just had this added harmony, um, which created a completely different sound to the band. The press was amazing, our first single. Um, we had played really heavily in France, I think, uh, in France and Tal, and then played Salomon um, for the first time. Yeah, that was quite impressive because we were doing, I think that was our first festival, wasn't it? And so it was a lot, I mean, a, a massive crowd audience for us as a full band as well, so yeah. we had had played quite a lot of gigs in Northern Ireland and a few in London, but I don't think anything had, you know, really made us think that we were going to have that kind of reaction but we had a great reaction people knew us in the audience and they were singing along to the songs and it was something special mm. that was one of the best yeah. first experiences I think we had <laughs> well the first album was all written in a house that we used to live in beside the sea in uh, this town called Port Stewart that Alice is from and we'd only really kind of started to know each other whenever I went the songs Start taking shape, so um, a lot of our lives at that point, um, a lot of the moments in our lives appear in the lyrics. So um, it's kind of like reading old diaries, um, and it's it, it's odd, kind of you know, a few years later, opening that up again and um, remembering who we were as people. Um, but, uh, it's great. It's just nice to kind of close your eyes and hear that other voice at the same time because um, we sang together for so many years and the harmonies were always just so locked in. And I don't know where to go I gotta switch off to get on I nearly forgot my name what I used to really enjoy was that often I would sit and read the lyrics, obviously, but I would ask Dale, because I understood what, what he was talking about, but some of the references, I was like, is that, does this mean, is that what I'm thinking, is that what you're thinking? And I used to love, I remember some very interesting conversations, probably late at night, walking around, um, particularly with the second album, trying to decipher what moments Dale was referring to, and um, to, rem to remember those now, as Dale says, looking back, after so much time has passed, it's quite a special, quite a special feeling. It's like reading an old diary, and even though Dale wrote it, it's still like that for me too. It's like reading my diary. 
with me scribbling notes on the side. <laughs> And I think the record company probably would have liked us to have fitted into the group because it's a bit easier to sell. And so when we come up here, it's probably like a great fish. Yeah, and you know, I, really I think what the great thing was is I don't think we became all jaded and miserable or we didn't have the experiences that made us. I mean, whatever was happening within the record company, within the band itself, with wherever we were, whatever we were doing, the focus was always on um, making good music. A lot of people have um, said in uh, articles about us that we didn't kind of get the amount of success that we deserved whenever we were playing, uh, releasing records. Um, it's it's a hard thing to kind of uh, to really think about whenever you're in the middle of it. Um, I don't know. I think I'm prouder of the records we made than the the kind of more commercial records. Stop tapping the floor. Oh, that, that, yeah, I'm okay. sorry, but, but that's what sorry. he's complaining about. It's not, oh, really? it's not about the clappings or the guitar or whatever. It's about the clapping. <laughs> <laughs> 